In my previous video about SD cards, I was asked a few times to test these tarot cards. And if all you want to know is if they are fake, then I can tell you the following. There are real ones, but not for 5, 10, 20 or even 50 bucks. The best price for legit ones that I've seen myself was around 80 bucks. And all of these cheap ones, not only are they fake, they are worse than legit cards for the same price. So let me go through these and show the stats and explain some things about them. Firstly, it is important to note that all of them have the same packaging and especially interesting is the back. Both the 2TB and the 1TB cards show all the same figures. Let's look as an example at the MP3s. An average MP3 song that is 3.5 minutes long is somewhere between 3 and 10 megabytes in size, but the most common size I found was around 3.2 megabytes. So 2000 of them would be between 6 and 20 gigabytes, or for the most common size, 6.4 gigabytes. So let's keep these figures in mind and have a look at the cards individually. First up is the 2 terabyte Xiaomi. The average writes were 17.82 megabytes and the average reads were 17.52 megabytes. As always, these tests were done with KDisk Mark and F3. With F3, however, I also tested the capacity to see if they truly are the size that they claim. So is this micro SD card actually two terabytes? Nope, it's 6.71 gigabytes. A huge way off from two terabytes. However, here is something I've never seen brought up with these big fake cards. When you plug it in, it actually shows up as two terabytes and not as usual as 1.82 terabytes, like with real ones. So here's the second lie. The card is not two terabytes, but actually almost 2.2 terabytes. What? Dixer, what are you saying? You might now ask. Well, let me explain something important when it comes to digital storage. I think many of us experienced this at some point. We buy a new storage device, as an example, a two terabyte HDD, plug it in and see that Windows tells us that we get 1.82 terabytes. There are a few reasons we can think of for that. The PC messed up, the drive needs this 0.1 terabyte for something like a small database, or that the manufacturers are just straight up lying to us. The actual reason is slightly more complicated, but the gist of it is the following. The values we as humans use and go by, such as kilo, mega, giga, tera, are decimal or base 10 values. So 1 tera is made up of 1000 giga and 1 giga of 1000 mega. Computers, however, have a better understanding of binary or base 2. And for these, we have names like kibi, mebi, gibi, and tebi. Converting between them goes as follows. 1 tebi is 1024 gibi and one Gibby is 1024 Mebby, and so on. And now when you let these two worlds collide and ask what is two terabytes in tebibytes? Well, 1.82 tebibytes. Or the other way around, two tebibytes are 2.2 terabytes. And all of this is now combined with Windows, which for whatever reason uses the binary system, but labels it with the decimal system without any conversion. So when you buy one terabyte, you actually get one terabyte. In Linux, you get the binary labels by default, and as far as I know, Apple uses the decimal labels by default, but does the conversion for you. And in Windows, you get the decimals without the conversion. And now we come back to this micro SD card. Not only do they fake the capacity, but to sell the lie better, they actually make the card even larger so that it shows up on Windows as 2 TB, 2 terabyte. The only reason I first noticed this is because the card is labeled as 2.1 TB. And I think this is really fascinating. It makes sense though. The same person who buys a 2 terabyte storage medium from AliExpress, Temu, etc. would make a claim that their product is defective when it shows up as a 1.82 terabytes in Windows. So now let's move on to the 1 terabyte cards. The 1024 gigabyte Sony. Now it's starting to get confusing. I know what they are trying to say or do here, but now that we know how this works, it is a nightmare. But in short, 1024 gigabytes 
is 1.24 terabytes or 931.3226 gigabytes. This card is now however exactly one terabyte or roughly 1.1 terabytes. So this card is pulling the same fakery, but to the trained eyes, it's just a mess. But how fast and how big is it actually? Well, the average writing speed is 9.73 megabytes a second, and the average reading speed is 19.12 megabytes a second. And the actual size is 2.74 gigabytes. So not even the back is correct anymore. Another thing I noticed with this card is that either the card itself or the adapter it came with is slightly misshapen, which is why it's hard to put the card inside the adapter itself. Next up is the one terabyte Xiaomi. I don't know why, maybe their calculator was broken or fake as well, but for some reason, this time the card is 998 gigabytes in size. When going to the speeds, it's the worst yet, with an average writes of 8.14 megabytes a second and an average reads of 5.76 megabytes a second. And of course, the card is also fake, with an actual capacity of 4.85 gigabytes. Okay, let's go to the last card. The one terabyte Lenovo is now 999.9 gigabytes. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, let's just go over the speeds. It has an average writes of 18.25 megabytes a second and an average reads of 18.88 megabytes a second, which makes it the fastest one. And what about its capacity? Well, it's a whopping 7.82 gigabytes, which also makes it the largest one, which is not really a hard feat when you consider that all of them advertise their size in the terabyte range. What surprised me the most is just how inconsistent these are. None have the same speeds, none have the same fake size, and none have the same actual size. If I didn't know any better, I would almost say that these are faked by hand and not some machine with a script running. There is however one thing that is consistent, the real capacity is in the front. What I mean by that is, there seem to be two common ways to fake storage capacity. The first is to have all the storage in the front and the rest is fake. This is especially useful for these large ones, since the first few files you put on them will indeed be saved and can be read from the drive, but anything past the actual size will just be fake data. They essentially bank on people not wanting to fill up one terabyte or even two terabytes of data just for testing. The second is to mirror the storage space until the desired size has been reached. So what happens here is that once you reach the end of the actual size of the card, it will just start overriding files from the beginning. This method is more useful for smaller cards since it is more likely for people to access newer files. As an example in a camera, where you might want to quickly check the newest pictures and not the ones from a year ago. So in conclusion, they are all fake. Not just the ones I've tested, but the ones that are out there for these ridiculously low prices. Unless there is a fundamental change in manufacturing or how the technology itself works, you will never be able to buy a terabyte for the price of a cup of coffee. In the end, for cheap storage, HDDs are still just the best bet. Just like subscribing is still the best bet for seeing more of my videos.